me the rapture, so many Christians were left behind. He showed me this vision in two parts. In the first vision, people were going through the air like white birds. The second vision was of those left behind. The first was so exciting and joyful, but the second one I cried the whole time. The noise on earth while this was happening was horrible. These visions ran more than 30 minutes. He showed me many details of both visions. I have never seen such horrified faces before. It was so bad. My heart ached for them after the vision ended. The Lord said that what I saw is nothing compared to what will happen at that time. Our Jesus loves all of us so much that He doesn't want anyone to be left behind or go into the valleys in heaven. He wants every believer to prepare for His coming. He continually tells me this will happen sooner than expected. Please believe and search your heart to see what kind of relationship you have with our Lord Jesus. Every believer who has a relationship with Jesus is the most important to Him. If your heart is not right with Him, do something about it before it is too late. I hope you share this message with others so they can prepare and wait for the coming of our Lord Jesus. And I pray that you will become a greater disciple for our Lord. I also pray that you will be blessed by Him while you are on this earth and see His face when you get to heaven. For Salvation I have heard many people say that they believe in God but don't believe in Jesus. Please believe what I am saying. Even if you believe in God, if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God, there is no salvation. Salvation comes only through Jesus. Jesus died for all of us because He loves us so much. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6 Jesus is the only one who can save you and forgive all your sins so that you can have eternal life with Him. See Mark 9, 48 If you have never before asked Jesus to save you, now is the time for you to do so before it is too late. Simply say this prayer out loud from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and you died for me. Please come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior and forgive me of all my sins and take control of every area of my life from this moment on. Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. I want to serve you and love you all the days of my life. Thank you, Father, that I am now your child. In Jesus' holy name, amen. After this prayer, to work out your salvation, read the Bible, pray continually, and go to church to listen to God's words and fellowship with God's people. Your life will never be the same. You'll have a very happy life while on this earth and live forever with Jesus in heaven. God bless you. Heaven is so real. You may recall that at the beginning of this book, I told you I had written this so that I could share with you the experiences I have had in heaven with Jesus. At this juncture, as you reach the end of Heaven is So Real, I ask only that you receive this book in the same way it was written, with total openness to the Lord and His will. I again invite you to evaluate my experiences in the light of the Word of God. At the Lord's direction, I have done as the Old Testament prophet Habakkuk did. I have watched and waited for him to see what he would say to me. I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am reproved. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. 
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Habakkuk 2, 1-3 Like Habakkuk, I have written my vision down and made it plain, so that you who read it may run according to the Lord's perfect plan for you, a plan that includes a place already prepared for you in heaven if you only will believe in His Son and receive Him as your personal Lord and Savior. My prayer for you is found in Isaiah 40, 31, that you who wait on the Lord will renew your strength, that you will run and not be weary, that you will walk and not faint, and that you will mount up with wings like eagles and soar with Jesus, for surely He is coming soon.